Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan Becker with another one. So today I'm gonna walk you through the process on speeding up your device with a couple of more tips. So this will increase your device speed by anywhere from 10 to 20%. And let's go and jump into this video. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is go over to the find section and go ahead and go down to search. Let's click on search. And we wanna go ahead and search for an app called Def Squid. That's the number one app right now as far as for cleaning up your device and maintaining it. So let's go ahead and click on Def Squid. Let's go ahead and click on this app. And I already have it installed so it immediately opens. So as you can see here, we're hovered over the cleaner tab. So if I click on cleaner, it loads up here, it says zero optimizations. And then right down below, it says start cleaning device. So you wanna come in here and clean up your device at least once a month. Basically what this will do, if you install a lot of APKs on your device, it says here, do you want to delete those old APK files that are no longer needed? So normally those will be saved in downloader and then also various other places, if depending on where you install them from. So let's go ahead and click on yes. So we wanna get rid of those and then also it'll get rid of any other remaining junk that we have, uh, mostly temporary files. So it says here 35 optimizations and now we're all clear, we're all green. It says here cleaning device is completed. So we're all set with step one on cleaning our device. Also check out my other videos cause I do go in depth on the virus scan feature within this app. And then they also have a manage apps section within this app. So definitely check out the other videos. I go over each one of those sections. So let's go ahead and go to our home. So once I'm on the home button, we wanna go ahead and go to the right hand side. You wanna hover over settings and go down. You wanna to head to applications. Once you head to applications, just click on applications. I'm gonna go down to manage installed applications, double check, triple check your internal space, just to make sure that you do have a good ratio of free space versus space that's taken up. So I still have about two gigs free of available space, which is a good percentage. You wanna leave at least a, a gig to two gigs free. So let's go ahead and click on manage installed applications. If I start scrolling through here, you'll see here if I hover over Amazon Live Shopping, in here on the right hand side, you'll see version, size, storage, and then cache. Cache also are temporary files within those individual apps. So a lot of the times the cleaner, like DevSquid, will miss that. So you wanna come in here and manually erase all of those cache files from each individual app. If we start with Amazon Live Shopping, we just click on here and you wanna go down to clear cache. You don't wanna clear data because that pretty much resets the entire app. So any favorites or anything that you had in there, it'll wipe all that stuff out. Because clear cache is just temporary files once again, it won't do any damage to those individual apps, but it will take up storage space, which in turn slows your device speed down. So we wanna go ahead and increase the device speed as much as possible by going through each individual app and erasing the cache files. So another one here, Amazon Photos. I do use this app a lot, but as you can see, the cache files have accumulated more than the actual app size. So we got 61 megs in cache size, and then we have 40 megs, which is the actual application size. So let's go ahead and click on Amazon Photos. We're gonna go ahead and clear the cache here too. And you wanna do this for each app. Just scroll down the list and you'll click on each one. You'll come in here, click on clear cache, and you'll keep it moving. So I'm really just looking for all the apps that have the most cache files. So this one has seven megs, we'll clear that one out. All right, Netflix is also a big one here. It's got 15 megs, we'll clear that cache out. All right, Tubi's also pretty high as well. I'm gonna clear that one out as well. But definitely go through each one of these once again and clear your cache. And that way it'll speed up your device for you. So I'm gonna click my home button. So back here on the Amazon Fire Stick, if we go to the right hand side and hover over the three squares with the plus sign and we go down to my apps, click on my apps, it'll load up our apps here. And this normally just shows us a quick glimpse of which apps that we have installed on our device. It doesn't show them all, but if we go down here and go over to app library, if I click on app library, if I scroll through here, you'll see all the apps that I have installed on my device. You may ask, am I using all of these apps? And the question is no, a lot of these apps are from the cloud, a lot of them, um, and when I say the cloud, are basically apps that show here, but they're not physically installed on my device. And the way we figure that out is, we just go up to the top here where it says all, and then to the right it says installed on this TV, and then to the right of that it says not installed at all. So these are all the apps that are showing on my device. So as you can see here, 
there is a good amount of apps that we can go ahead and uninstall from this and the way we do it is pretty simple so like if I wanted to get rid of some of these games here that I don't play I just click the three lines on my remote and then go down and remove from cloud if I click on remove from cloud it will start to erase all of these individual apps so it's definitely a plus to come in here at least once a month so if you have a bunch of apps that are showing here from the cloud the Amazon cloud you can definitely go in here and remove them and that will increase your user experience speed by not having to filter through millions of apps that you don't use so we'll just continue through here click on each and every one and click on remove from cloud until you're done and then that way it will shrink the amount of apps that you have to cycle through to find what you're looking for but I'm gonna go ahead and continue cleaning up my device off camera I just wanted to go ahead and bring you these tips so you can do the same so let's go ahead and clean up our device for the month of February if this was helpful definitely give it a like comment subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace